Alright, what is up y'all? It's Tony Holiday, back at it again, another video. Today, you guys, I want to show you guys something to do with the multi-sampler in Logic Pro 10.5. I've been trying to figure out a way how you can kind of share third-party instruments with it so you can kind of exchange them with your friends or maybe you want to make an instrument pack or something like that to sell online. I'm going to show you guys how to download third-party instruments and then install them into your Logic library so they're just really easy to find and you can open up the multi-sampler and just start using them right away as the person that made them intended. Before we get started, please go follow me on all socials. That is Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. It's Tony Holiday. I recently redid my website, and with that, I actually recently redid my free vault, which has a bunch of free stuff in it, and I'm just gonna keep adding to that as I kind of progress as a producer and grow on YouTube. I just wanna add more and more stuff for you guys. Let's get straight into the video, and I'm gonna show you how to install these third-party multi-sample instruments into Logic's 10.5 multi sampler and then you can go straight to the free vault and download this guitar instrument that I've made specifically for you guys um, that you kind of saw me playing my guitar at the beginning of the video. That one that I was playing at the beginning is my Martin Triple O 15M and I just thought that if I'm going to end up going traveling after COVID or anything like that it's going to be nice to have that sound with me. It's not going to necessarily sound the same however if I want to put a guitar into my track or anything like that I know that I can count on that sound by just making a multi-sample instrument out of it. So with that being said, you guys, let's get into the video. I'm gonna show you how to install these into Logic, and then you can go ahead and start playing with my Martin uh, sound as well. So yeah, let's get into the video. As you can see here, guys, I have Logic open, and what I have is just a software instrument here as the track number one. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go to instrument, sampler, and then mono or stereo. And this is what the multi-sampler looks like in Logic 10.5. Now from here, this little drop down here where it says factory default, you can see that I have a few different kind of instruments here. And I'm gonna show you how to install these that you can get from third parties. So an example is like this Rhodes that I got off a of splice. It's really cool that Splice is featuring Logic a little more now that it's a little bit of an updated DAW. So that one sounds like this. I don't have a Rhodes. I downloaded this third-party sample and then I installed it into Logic. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that now. So we'll close Logic. And now if you go to my free vault on my website, which I'll just show on the screen now, you'll find my Martin Triple O 15M download for free. Once you get that in your downloads folder, we'll kind of go from there. I'm gonna do it from my desktop because that's just where I have this zip file. And this is the download that's available in the Dropbox. You're gonna double click that to kind of unzip the file. Next, you're gonna have this folder which contains the actual files that we wanna install into the audio music apps. So there's two things in here, you guys. The first one is this guitar, it's Tony Holiday EXS file. And the second one is a folder with a WAV file in it. We're gonna be putting those into two different places. So let's start with the EXS file. So you're gonna hover onto that and then you're gonna do Command C to copy. From here, you're gonna do space and command to get your spotlight up and you're gonna search audio music apps and it'll be the folder. And you're just gonna click enter so you can see that. And this is the audio music apps folder that you should be able to see now. The main two folders that we're really looking for here are this one here, the sampler instruments and samples. The EXS file is the one that we currently have on our clipboard. So we're gonna put that into the sampler instruments. So once you hover over sampler instruments, you're gonna click here, you're gonna do option command V, and it's gonna take that file from your desktop and put it into this folder as you can see now here. The second part of the file as well. We're gonna go back to the desktop by doing open a new tab and we have the folder with the WAV file so we can copy the folder. Back to your audio music apps. This is where it might look a little bit different for all of you guys. The samples folder might not be there. And that's because when you start to create multi-sample instruments, Logic will automatically make that folder for you. So if you haven't made any instruments before, chances are that that folder won't exist. All you have to do is create a folder that's named samples and then add your folders into that. So we're gonna grab that folder with the WAV file and we're gonna do Command C. We're gonna go back to our samples folder and Option Command V. And now we have it pasted in the samples folder. And that's gonna contain the WAV file and then the sampler instrument is gonna have the EXS. The reason why we have to do both is the sampler instrument is actually referencing the sample file 
that's in the other folder. And that's what's being used to actually create the sampler instrument, if that makes sense. Now let's go into logic and test to see if this works. So we can close up the um, finder there. We can open up logic, create an empty project, software instrument, and now let's get our sampler out. Sampler, we'll go stereo. And now from the factory default, if I go down here, you'll see that we have the guitar. It's Tony Holiday, triple O, 15M. We'll click that. And now we have the guitar. Again, it doesn't really sound exactly like the way I play it when I do play it, but that's how real instruments work. You know, everybody has their own flavor in the way that they actually play the instrument. This sampler is just a good way for you to have sounds and you can take them on the go wherever you are. I really like having that if I just wanna go somewhere with my laptop and maybe I think of a guitar port, at least I can put the MIDI in to have that idea down. And then later on, if I wanna go back and add the actual audio guitar into it, I have the option to do so. That being said though, a lot of popular tracks today, including Rockstar, which I was playing at the beginning, if you watch The Genius, it's actually penciled in with MIDI notes and an Omnisphere guitar, I believe. So that's something to think about as well. If you don't necessarily play an instrument, it doesn't mean you can't make that instrument type of beat, which is kind of cool. So I hope you can find this Martin guitar kind of useful to add into your sounds and that. I might kind of put some presets out with it later. That's kind of an idea. But for now, I just hope you guys enjoy the sound. And then you can also, you know, find other sounds on Splice now and add them into Logic so you can kind of build up a library of a lot of cool multi-sample instruments. But yeah, guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. I'm always going to be putting out more videos. Thank you guys for being patient with me when I don't put them out as often, but there are more to come. Make sure to go follow me on all socials. That's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. It's Tony Holiday. I will see you in the next one, guys, and I hope you enjoy the new Free Vault sample of my Martin Triple O 15M. But yeah, cheers.